In this video, we're going to be reviewing the GT120 soldering station from Metcal and the SCS Ironman Plus uh, from Desco Europe. Uh, so Neil, can you walk us through the soldering station first of all? Mm, sure thing, yeah. So, so the one on display here is the GT120. Now the GT range of systems is the very first adjustable temperature system for Metcal. The temperature range for these two models, or this, this is one model, is 150 to 450 degrees. So, so again, you can adjust the temperature as you see fit. The power is coming through this system, 120 watts. We also have a 90 watt system as well. Um, so the 120 system, 120 watts, that comes packaged with the T6 handpiece. And the T6 handpiece can come along with uh, replaceable tips. So again, high performance, um, heavy usage, uh, replaceable tips, very cost effective. Also, if you wanted to get the maximum performance out of this inductive heating process, we also offer it as a cartridge as well. So the heater, which you can't see inside the handpiece, and the tip combined with this one piece, plug it in and off you go. That's for the maximum power. Um, and really what the GT is aimed at, it's, it's performance for those people that use soldering tools daily. They want to improve their throughput. They've got difficult to solder areas that they can't get hot enough. This system provides the power and the energy to enable you to solder some of those more difficult things. Um, so the GT90 system, that comes with what we call the T4 handpiece. Again, this one's a bit more suitable. We've brought the tip sizes right down for some of the very fine pitch surface mount components you do. Again, 90 watts with the smaller system, 120 watts with the larger one. So, so Stephen, how does that tie in then with your Ironman system? Yeah, so the Ironman Plus uh, continuous monitor is going to monitor three parameters, uh, one of which is interacts with the iron, and we'll come on to that in a second. So if I just connect uh, my wrist strap there, you can see we've got three uh, green LEDs for pass. If I disconnect the work surface, We'll see in a few seconds that's going to go into a fail mode uh, and let me know that the work surface has become disconnected from ground i'll just silence that alarm there um, and that will let me know that any product that's on the work surface is therefore uh, going to be it won't be grounded through the work surface it has the risk of uh, esd electrostatic discharge uh, damage likewise with my wrist strap i've got my dual wire wrist strap connected here and you can see we've got a green pass on the monitor there for that at the moment. If I were to disconnect uh, the wrist strap, it's gonna give me an instant response to let me know that that's become uh, disconnected, perhaps a failure inside the cord itself. It can happen at any time. Uh, so it's gonna let me know instantly that I'm now uh, no longer grounded. I'm potentially presenting a risk to the product that I'm handling uh, an electrostatic discharge risk uh, through not being grounded. It's also possible uh, that uh, high voltage uh, equipment in the area could leak voltage onto the ground, which would then come back through me as I'm connected to ground, and therefore anything that's any voltage that's on me would then apply to a uh, product that I'm handling and potentially create not an ESD risk, uh, but an EOS, an electrical overstress uh, risk. It's going to produce the same kind of uh, problems. It's going to damage components either permanently, fatally, in the production area, uh, or arguably worse, damage them so that they work erratically, perhaps creating a field failure mm. uh, down the track. So we can simulate that with a nine volt battery just on this ground point here. And you can see I'm still grounded. I've still got a green pass uh, for my grounding, but I have uh, a red uh, LED flashing and an audible signal to let me know that I've got body voltage, which is then going to apply to uh, the board and potentially create that. EOS risk. So, so that kind of lets your brain know something's going wrong, time to do something about it, time to get investigated. Right, exactly. So in, in normal working, what you're looking for is those three passes to give you that reassurance. Everything is verified, everything is good. You're protecting your product as you're working on it. Uh, and, the, and the third and final uh, parameter that we have here is the uh, tool circuit, the iron circuit. We've got this uh, yellow lead connected to a ground plane of the board. And what that's going to do is as I apply my soldering iron, it's going to validate that it's not inducing a voltage onto the board. It's not going to be uh, presenting another kind of EOS uh, risk, electrical mm. overstress risk. Uh, so mm. si this is a grounded system, isn't it, the GT120? Yes, yeah, so this, this is built and designed to meet IPC standards for grounding and, and power dissipation at the tip. So no voltage at the tip and it's grounded. So should I test it on the board? Yeah, absolutely. See if the Ironman picks it up. There you go. Oh, there you go. So that's kind of confirming to me as a soldering operator, no beeps, no problem, keep on soldering. That's exactly right. So validating yeah. that the iron is good and compliant. Brilliant. But what about, what about a system then like this one is not plugged in, so we have got a ground potential problem here. Yeah, so we're able to force a failure with the oh, ungrounded yeah. tip Brilliant. as you touch that onto the 
uh, ground plane there, uh, that voltage uh, that's sitting on the ungrounded tip is going through the board, it's being detected by the, the monitor. But we've forced the failure there, but if that were to happen in normal operation, the operator would know that an issue has There's developed. Problem, yeah. yeah, pause working, resolve the issue, and then you can get back to work looking for all past conditions, validating the iron, making sure that, uh, or letting you know that everything you're handling is protected mm -hmm. across these parameters. So it's a great partnership then. I mean, again, IPC compliant, there'd be lots of other hand tools, lots of other soldering systems that maybe are not IPC compliant. Again, your system will flush those out as they get, as they get used. That's exactly right. Uh, and if you want to find out any more information about the Metcal GT120 uh, or the SCS Ironman Plus from Desco Europe, follow the link that's coming up. Uh, or down in the description below.